Neptown Tuner here. Today, I'm gonna show you how to replace the water pump, okay? I'm gonna do it on an engine that's already pulled out so you can get the best view possible. I'm gonna show you all the tips and tricks how to do it so you know how to do it in the car with the intake manifold on, all right? You're gonna see everything you need to see to put a water pump on right now on your 2.0T TFSI turbocharged Audi engine, 2009 all the way up to about 2016. And there was a change in the water pump design after that, but it's still pretty similar. Let's go. Okay, what we have here is an engine on a stand. This right here is your modular water pump. Okay, it's a uh, it's belt driven off of a balance chain, or I'm sorry, a, a balance shaft. Uh, there's a a balance shaft that's chain driven. Let me just walk you over here to this other engine so I can kind of show you. All right, just spur of the moment, I'm gonna pull you over here to this engine just sitting right here. Check this out. Okay. This gear right here is independent of the crankshaft. That's why you have to hold it with this bolt. If you're doing a timing chain um, and you don't hold it with this bolt, this center gear can come completely loose. This is your balance shaft chain, right? You have a, a, you have a balance shaft over here and you have a balance shaft over here. This one right here runs all the way through your engine and it's what runs your water pump. Okay, now let's look at the other engine. So the shaft that goes from the front of the engine all the way to the back, it's going to run a belt on the back of this water pump. So we have to take this cover off and we have to slide the belt off before we take uh, anything else loose. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it right here, right in front of you. So the first thing we do is we take this cover off. All right. There's two bolts on it. There's going to be this T30 right here, and then this top T30 right here. You know, first you need to replace, or uh, take out this uh, coolant pipe that has your after run coolant uh, pump on it. I show that in removing the engine. So if you want, if you want to see that, there's also a, a small bolt right here that I mentioned in that, in that film, that uh, if you don't put this size bolt back in that exact spot right here, where that coolant pipe goes right here, where that coolant pipe goes, I'm sorry. This size bolt right here, if you don't put that size bolt back in, you can crack this housing if you put a longer one in, okay? And also it's a smart idea to put a new O-ring when you slide this pipe in. Okay, this pipe that I'm talking about, I got one uh, laying right here. This pipe that I'm talking about is gonna look like this. All right, this is what I'm talking about right here. Whenever you put this fitting in right here, it's a good idea to have a new O-ring and you have to put that size bolt back in. All right. So when we get these two bolts out, we can take this cover off. Now we have the belt exposed. Do you see this gear? I'm gonna show you a little bit more of and in this is an engine oil cooler and it's cooled by the coolant okay so now that it's loose I'm just gonna do this by hand I'm not gonna okay so to clarify real quick this belt right here the proper way to take it off the service manual says that you're supposed to take this bolt out of the bottom gear all right, out of this balance shaft. It's a reverse thread bolt and there's a special tool for it, but um, the people that work on this type of thing day in and day out, we just slide this belt off the top pulley and then we slide it back on. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, you have to be really careful with the belt though if you do it this way. Sometimes it helps to roll the engine back and forth a little bit, but uh, just, just watch as I uh, do this and explain. So before you're gonna break 
everything's loose, but before you try to take it off, just uh, very carefully take a flathead screwdriver or a small pry bar or something, and just, I'm, I'm saying very carefully, don't damage this belt, otherwise you have to replace it. And you can't replace this belt unless you take that reverse bolt back out. So you're just gonna walk the belt off just ever so carefully. See that? Walk the belt off, all right? Now this belt is free. Went ahead and just put it right there. It's not damaged at all. There's no damage on it. Okay, now that the belt's loose, it'll come loose. So you just kind of put your, if it doesn't, if it doesn't come loose by hand, all right, you might need to persuade it a little bit, but see this, this fitting right here is a, uh, is a little universal joint type deal. It, it kind of gives you some pivot when you put it back in there. So now let's say this is a new water pump, all right? I don't have a new water pump right now to put, I'm not doing that, I'm just showing right now um, on this engine. So first, if you don't have a new water pump, you need to look at your gasket really well. One thing that I'll say is uh, I've seen, I've seen this plastic break right here. Typically when they leak, a lot of times they'll leak, they'll break the plastic somewhere around here and it'll leak out of here. Sometimes it leaks right here where you can already see some crud. So it's a good idea to clean up that O-ring or put a new O-ring on or put some silicone sealer on there before you plug it back in and screw it in. Okay. Um, and sometimes the, the thing leaks other places, but those are the two main places they leak. Okay. So now we're going to re replace it. So it's a good idea to put a new universal joint in, but if you don't, it's a good idea to at least clean up the O-rings or just make sure they don't leak, all right? You really have grease them or something before you put them back in. Uh, you have to be really careful with that because you don't want to do this job again, all right? Let me just go ahead and pull this all the way out so you can see it. That's a replaceable piece right there, okay? So that piece will slide back in, all right? Now watch me put it back in. What you do is there's, okay, first off, there's dowel pins. Uh, there's a dowel pin that locates there and locates there, all right? You have to be careful with locating these dowel pins. So first, you slide it in, in this fitting, and then you're gonna use the movement in that dowel pin, or in that uh, universal joint that I just showed you, and that's what's gonna help you get the belt on. So, all right, notice I, uh, I just started putting it back in and that piece just started falling apart on me. So this, this piece would have to be replaced. It's too brittle. See how it just chipped away right there? Probably a good idea to always replace that. But um, for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna continue to show how to do this. Okay, that took some wiggling. Did you see I just had to, I just had to kind of finagle it and wiggle it. What you're trying to do is you're trying to get the movement in this joint right here. That's why it's a good idea to grease it because then you can get that thing to move around. And then you set it in on those uh, dowels, okay? You see I'm messing with this belt right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, as we throw it on, we're just gonna throw the belt underneath here first, and then we're gonna tilt it so that this universal joint, you know, tilt this universal joint down, all right? And then if you get it right, if you get the belts and the grooves and everything right, then you can see that? See how you just pop that into place? 
All right, now all you have to do is literally just move this water pump over to the side and then locate it in, into place with the dowels. All right, I didn't use a hammer or anything. I just used my hands the whole way. Everything's done now. The belt's completely on. Uh, this universal fitting right here is perfectly flush. The water pump's perfectly flush. You put these long bolts back in, in these three spots right here. You put these short bolts back in, in these spots right here. You torque it down to your specs, starting with the center bolt. Go around it one more time, tighten it firm. All right, now over here to the coolant temp sensor. All right, then it's just that uh, cover for this right here. You just slide that cover on. Uh, two bolts to put the cover back on. You know, you got the long one and the short one, all right? That's all there is to it. Until next time, Naptown Tuner.